Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and again it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today is show you how to create this really cool flower effect in Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, very visually impactful and uh, very easy to create at the same time. What I'd like you to do is to take everything that I've discussed with, with you, what I'll discuss with yourself today and then go and create some amazing stuff in the future. So let me show you how to create this amazing flower effect within Adobe Illustrator. Okay, with my selection tool, what I'm gonna do is come through now and remove the original. Okay, so what we've got here is a nice blank artboard for us um, to create some cool looking designs. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is create a star. So I'm gonna to come to our star tool here. And what I would like to do is, is dictate how many points to that particular star. So what I'm going to do with uh, the star tool, which is come onto the artboard and click. And as you can see here, what I can do is dictate how many uh, points I would like. You can go as high as you want or as low as you want. I'm probably going to say, let's say, around 18. Now, if I come through and press OK, there's my star created. Wonderful. Now, using my selection tool, I'm going to use the short, uh, sorry, the um, shortcut option on a Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the center point and shift at the same time to get that perfect and just come to my alignment tools here and just get that aligned nicely on the artboard. Okay, so with this shape here, what you'd need to do is apply a gradient to this. What you must do is apply a radial gradient. What I have here is one that I built earlier. I'm just going to come through, potentially manipulate this just a little bit like so. Bring that out there a little bit. There we go. That's the kind of grade I'm looking for. Okay. What I'll need to do is come through and copy this uh, star. The shortcut to do that on a Mac is Command C. On Windows is Control C. And then what I'll need to do is paste in front, which is Command F on Mac or Control F on Windows. So let me press some shortcuts. And now I have pasted that on front. Now, using the shortcut option on a Mac or Alt on Windows, I'm going to start to resize from the center point there and shift at the same time and resize that to a point, let's say, around there. Wonderful. Now, you with my selection tool, what I'm going to come through and do here and select everything that we've created. And what we need to do is come through and create our blend, our, use our blend options. I'm just going to come to the tool and double click on it. And you have these three options here to use. I would like to use specified steps. And you, again, you can dictate how many, how, how high or how low. Uh, 15 would probably be the best number for us to use at the moment. Now if I press OK, wonderful. Now with the tool, what you must do is create the blend. So I'm gonna click on the first shape and click on the second shape there. And as you can see now, we have blended those two stars together. Wonderful. Now with this still selected, what we're gonna do is come through and go to effects, distal and transform, and we have the option of tweak. You can dictate the horizontal and the vertical or the amount, but I like it quite simple like so. And I'm gonna do is kind of come through and press okay. And as you can see guys, a really, really impressive effect that you can use for potential designs within your graphic design career. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.